Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of The Daily Show, where we talk about major talking points in South African cricket. Now, I've been getting a lot of requests to talk about a specific incident that has happened in South African cricket, where there was an article on Sport24 where they spoke about CSA only employing people of color in positions of in in um, consulting positions. And I've been asked why I did not speak about this on The Daily Show. So I'm going to just come out clean and speak about it right now and say why I did not do that. It's because I want to get the message from the right people. I want the right people to be able to come out and speak on the platform. So I'm trying to get the interviews from the correct people to be able to do so who can actually talk about the matter. I don't want to just be uh, talking about my opinion about the situation. I want to go about it in the correct way. I want to get the right people to interview and talk about this in the correct way so that I can give you guys the full value of what is actually going on. So I'm trying to organize some interviews with regards to that going down the line. So having put that aside, I want to continue with what today's video is going to be about. I'm going to continue with the series of keeping positivity in this game of cricket because I think that we are the key to keeping this game alive. We did an amazing interview with Dave Callahan yesterday where he spoke about cricket outliving everybody. This game is going to outlive us all. And with all the turmoil that's happening, we need to keep positivity in this game, to keep this game alive as fans. That's why we have this platform, to hear your views, to hear your opinions, so you can give us what you think about it. So I'm going to continue the positivity and do another video on the future stars in our game. So today I'm speak, I spoke to Carl Verena to find out what it was like for him to go back into training. This is a great message for the fans to know how our players go about the new COVID restrictions what they are doing, what are they doing in the off-season on a general scale of things. So this is a great way to get to know your players a little bit better. I'm going to try to get a person from each franchise. We know we did already more a few couple of days ago. I'm trying to get Kyle Verena today and tomorrow we're going to be speaking to Corbin Bosch. So without further ado, here's what Kyle Verena had to say about being back in training once again. Yeah, it's obviously been quite nice. Um... For myself, uh, yeah, I trained, did did a bit of training before the three TC game. So, yeah, I've sort of have been eating balls for for a while now. Mm. Um, but yeah, just just nice to be back in a team environment. Obviously, we're in smaller groups, um, so it's a bit different to having the whole squad together. Um, but yeah, it's quite nice to um, yeah, just sort of chill with with some of the new guys that we have and yeah get back into the swing of things i think we've obviously um had quite a quite a lengthy um break away from actual cricket stuff so yeah just nice to get back to to doing what we what we enjoy doing and yeah just being in the company of, of teammates and coaches and stuff again mm. and with regards to that obviously um you would have had a lot of rustiness maybe before coming back to cricket, obviously being without cricket for so long. Okay, maybe you had a little bit of a head start when you got the 3TC. Um, how did you guys prepare for that? Like um, get yourself back in in that mode to be able to play cricket again and eat a few balls. Um, did you have to shake off any rustiness? Um, you know, it's a, it's a weird one actually because... I know, like, I know I also said it now, but a lot of guys are saying, like, we've had so much time off and stuff like that. Um, but, I mean, the season only really got cut short by maybe, like, a week or two. So, we only lost maybe a week or two at the end of the season. And then the season wouldn't have started yet, you know. It's only it's at early September now. The season normally only starts in October or whatever. So, um, yeah, yeah we actually, we've actually had a normal off-season, to be honest with you. Um mm regarding rustiness and all that stuff i think it's just just pretty much the same stuff that we go through um every off season just uh taking a couple of weeks or so getting back into it and and then going but yeah it hasn't i mean it hasn't really been any different from what we do on a, a yearly basis like i said the the breaks actually been been pretty mm -hmm. normal so far it's only get only only next month when it gets to october is it really are we and we're not playing is it really a sort of different situation but yeah things have been actually exactly how they were before so yeah there's nothing yeah nothing new to deal with that we haven't dealt with um in the past and with regards to like now training during with the restrictions um how do you guys go about doing that at the moment yeah again it's 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 not much different i think like 
uh, contact sports and stuff, rugby and soccer, we're quite close to the guys. It might be an issue. But um, for cricket, to be honest, it's just instead of having the full 18 guys in the nets at once, we now just um, have it in smaller groups. But the actual um, training stays the same. I mean, you're standing 20 yards away, 20 meters away from the guy, um, throwing balls or whatever. Um, and yeah, you don't you don't ever really come into close contact with anyone under normal training circumstances. So the training, apart from it being smaller groups, the actual um, training and skills work and stuff is is exactly the same. To be honest with you, so yeah, nothing nothing really different at all. Yeah, and generally, you know, off season, um, how do you guys just relax and take your do you take your mind completely off cricket, or would you go down to a net and have a few bowling techniques or I'm obviously batting techniques and for you keeping techniques, but would you go down to the nets and just practice, get someone to throw a few balls with you just to keep sharp or do you just take off completely from cricket? Yeah, I think it's different, different for everyone. Um, personally, I like to just, uh, once the season is done, just yeah, not really do anything uh, related to cricket. Um, and then, yeah, maybe about a week or so before I know preseason scheduled to start, then I'll just um, sort of go back and review the past season and see if there's anything I, I want to work on. I think, yeah, quite often if you review your season straight away, there's a lot of uh, maybe emotions and stuff that goes into that. So, yeah, just taking as much time off as possible and then really just sitting back and thinking about the past season um, when, when training is about to start again is something that i like to do um i know there's i know for example spinners uh, like to keep bowling because that's obviously a different skill um yeah seamers they like to get as much rest as possible because they obviously their bodies and stuff um mm -hmm. batting wise if there's a real real big technical issue i know some guys will will work throughout the winter to fix that um but yeah for me um it's just about enjoying the time off and yeah, keeping myself busy with other things, uh, studying, playing golf or whatever. Um, yeah, and then when preseason does start, then it's all all focus. I mean, yeah, if you're not playing any international cricket or SAA cricket or whatever, the preseason is quite long. It's like 12 weeks, obviously, of mm. just getting back into the swing of things. So you don't want to go through a 12-week preseason and yeah. you've already been eating balls for, for 10 <laughs> weeks before that. So, yeah, yeah if you... Yeah, obviously I would have liked to have been on international duty and stuff like that, but with yeah. none of that happening, I think it's it's pointless to be training for five months, you know. Yeah. And with regards to the new guys, um, the ones that you have interacted with, wow, well, they're settling in um, in the Cobras lineup. You obviously you guys have a lot of a very young squad at the moment. Um and a lot of you the senior the a lot of the new young guys have to step up now and become senior guys in the side like yourself, Zubair Hamza, Jason Smith, etc. that have been there for quite a few seasons now at the Cobras. How are the new guys settling in? Yeah, very well. Um, I think obviously there's only there's only six franchises, so everyone sort of knows everyone, if that makes sense. So when a new person yeah. comes in, it's not like, oh, who are you? I mean, everyone, everyone knows you. Um, so just from a fitting in point of view, I think they've all... Um, fitted in really well uh there's obviously reasons why they've they've joined the cobras they they want to be and stuff so um yeah they fitted in really well um yeah. like you said a lot of a lot of young guys but i think even the guys that have that have joined us uh tony onke um just yeah just to name a few the guys have um played quite a bit of franchise cricket so yeah maybe young in age but uh cricket wise i think um even the new guys have quite a bit of experience. So, yeah, it's exciting times. Cool. Now, off, away from cricket, um, as a from Man United fan to Man United fan, how happy you about Donny van der Beek signing with United? And uh, do, do you think we need, how many more signings do you think we need and in what positions? Yeah, so obviously he looks a decent player, so that's pretty exciting. Um, I think we probably need about five or six more guys, to be honest with you. <laughs> I was... Uh, Listening to an interview from um, Gary Neville where he says, "Yeah, if we don't sign, what's it, five or six more guys, we're not gonna, not gonna be league challengers." And I, uh, yeah, I tend to agree with that. So, good signing, but I think we need to need to get a few more now. To be honest, I think, yeah, I don't know where, but I think we definitely need a couple more guys. Maybe uh, centre backs or something. We need a bit of an upgrade there. 
um, yeah. someone to go with Maguire when he gets out of jail. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think every, every, all down the middle, we need, we need some, uh, some signings to be honest with you. So guys, that's what Kyle Vrena had to say. It's a really positive message that I think you guys ha want, needed to hear. Please click like, comment, share, subscribe on this video. Click that notification bell for all future uploads. Don't forget to download the latest issue of the magazine. We've got two issues available. The next issue will be coming out on Monday. We're going to try to publish the magazine on the first Monday of every month. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys very